In React, often there will be several components that need to reflect the same changing data. One way to do this effectively is by lifting the shared state up to the closest common ancestor. Let's see how this works in action. In this video, we'll create a temperature calculator that calculates whether water would boil at a given temperature. We'll start with a component called Boiling Verdict. It accepts the Celsius temperature as a prop and prints whether it's enough to boil the water. Next, we'll create a component called Calculator. It renders an input that lets you enter the temperature and keeps its value in a temperature state and updates that state on change by using set temperature in the use state hook. Additionally, it renders the boiling verdict for the current input value. Now, our new requirement is that in addition to a Celsius input, we provide a Fahrenheit input and they are kept in sync. We can start by extracting a temperature input component from the calculator. And we'll add a new scale prop to it that can either be C or F. And we can now change the calculator to render two separate temperature inputs. So we have two inputs now, but when you enter the temperature in one of them, the other doesn't update. This contradicts the requirement that we need to keep these in sync. We also can't display the boiling verdict from calculator. The calculator doesn't know the current temperature because it's hidden inside the temperature input component. So first we'll write two functions to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back. These two functions convert numbers. So we'll write another function that takes a string, temperature, and a convert function as arguments and returns a string. We'll use it to calculate the value of one input based on the other input. It returns an empty string on an invalid temperature and it keeps the output rounded to the third decimal place. So for example, try convert ABC to Celsius returns an empty string. And try convert 10.22 to Fahrenheit returns 50.396. So currently both temperature input components independently keep their values in the local state. But we want these two inputs to be in sync with each other. So when we update Celsius input, the Fahrenheit input should also reflect the converted temperature and vice versa. In React, sharing state is accomplished by moving it up to the closest common ancestor of the components that need it. This is called lifting state up. So we'll remove the local state from the temperature input and move it into the calculator instead. If the calculator owns the shared state, it becomes the source of truth for the current temperature of both inputs. It can then instruct them to both have values that are consistent with each other. Since the props of both temperature input components are coming from the same parent calculator component, the two inputs will always be in sync. So let's see how this works step by step. First, we'll remove the state from the temperature component and we'll pull the scale, temperature, and on temperature change from the props using destructuring. Now in our handle change function, we'll update that from set temperature to on temperature change. On temperature change will be passed from the calculator. Now everything is being passed to the parent component to handle. Next, let's look at the calculator component. We'll store the current inputs temperature and scale in this local state. This is the state we lifted up from the inputs and it will serve as the source of truth for both of them. It's the minimal representation of all the data that we need in order to render both inputs. And we could have stored the value of both inputs independently, but that's not necessary. It's enough to store the value of the most recently changed input and the scale that it represents. We can then infer the value of the other input based on the current temperature and scale alone. The inputs stay in sync because their values are computed from the same state. Now, no matter which input you edit, temperature and scale in the calculator get updated. One of the inputs gets the value as is, so any user input is preserved, and the other input value is always recalculated based on it. So what did we learn here? There should always be a single source of truth for any data that changes in a React application. Usually, the state is first added to the component that needs it for rendering. Then, if other components also need it, you can lift it up to their closest common ancestor. Instead of trying to sync the state between different components, you should rely on the top-down data flow. Lifting state involves writing more boilerplate code than two-way binding approaches, but as a benefit, it takes less work to find and isolate bugs. Since any state lives in some component and that component alone can change it, 
the surface area for bugs is greatly reduced. Additionally, you can implement any custom logic to reject or transform user input. If something can be derived from either the props or state, it probably shouldn't be in the state. For example, instead of storing both Celsius value and Fahrenheit value, we store just the last edited temperature and its scale. The value of the other input can always be calculated from these. This lets us clear or apply rounding to the other field without losing any precision in the user input. If you want to check out the entire code example, the link is in the description below. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.